What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Medicom Mafex Justice League Aquaman. And so here we have Aquaman posed and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through Aquaman's accessories really fast. Aquaman does come with two different head sculpts. We do get the neutral expression which he has on him right now which looks really nice. He also does get a menacing, angry expression, which also looks just as good. He does come with a pair of fists. We get a pair of style pose hands. We get a pair of clinching hands. Then we get a pair of hands for holding his trident. And of course, we do get the trident of Atlanta, which he does hold really nicely in his trident holding hands. Finally, we do get the Atlantean Mother Box, which is a really nice little accessory. Overall, I'm really excited with what he came with. I think a pair of grip hands would have been nice and maybe an alternate head where his hair is flowing to the back. I know that's just me personally, so with that out of the way, guys, let's actually have a closer look at the Aquaman. And so here we have a closer look at the Mafex Aquaman. And you know what? It does bear a striking resemblance to Jason Momoa, especially from this pose. If you look at him from this position, that looks so much like Jason Momoa. I really do like it. From some angles, yeah, it doesn't quite look like him. But from most angles, yeah, that is definitely Khal Drogo right there. Although, I do feel like the one thing they could have done differently is apply a little more eyeshadow just underneath his eyes because it does seem like Aquaman in the movie had more uh, darker lines under his eyes. I guess that's the best way I can put it. This figure doesn't quite capture it. It does do a really good job of capturing Jason Momoa, but it's lacking that underneath eyeshadow which would bring out the eyes that much more. But yeah, really, really happy with the way this figure looks. He looks phenomenal. That's a really nice looking head sculpt. And I do like the hair. The hair is also done really well. And they did add the blonde highlights at the end of his hair like he does have in the movie. Although they did use a bit of gold instead of blonde. It kind of does work in this figure's favor because of all the golds that are on him. I think that does a really fantastic job representing this figure. So let's actually pop his head off really fast because there's some detailing underneath this really awesome beard that it gets lost because of the head sculpt. So taking a look at the neck, they even added the tattoos to the neck. That is insane amount of detail. Really, really excited about this figure. There's a lot of things to love about this figure and we'll go over that really fast. But yeah, those neck tattoos are just one thing to really enjoy about how much detail went into this figure. You can see all the golds and greens work so beautifully together, especially right here on his shoulder pad. You see those really nice greens. It's done in a gold plastic. Just has so much detail throughout it. We have those high points on his costume highlighted with gold and then the low points with that really dark green. There's just so much detail in it. It's really hard to say how much I enjoy this figure. Then we have a look at just all these scaling patterns going throughout it. It's just done really well and if you thought Superman had a lot of nice detail, Aquaman here has just as much detail and it's a little more intricate than Superman's just because of how all these lines contrast and seem to conform together. Like we have this hidden Atlantean A right here on his gut right there on the back. We don't have that, but we do have almost like a tribal design right here. And of course we do have the Atlantean crest right there. So really fantastic job on both sides. That crest looks so nice. You can see he does have gold wrist straps which looked really good. And then we do have almost like fins coming out of his gauntlets right there. Now, it's really hard for me to say which Aquaman costume I like better, this one or the one from the movie Aquaman. And they both have their merits and they both are just as good as one another. Really liking this. It's really hard to describe what this is. It has some obvious Polynesian uh, Samoan accents to it like that looks so much like a Samoan tattoo and then we have some patterns right here on the inside there's just a lot to love about this figure and ooh, the the detailing on it is just beautiful I can 
talk about the detailing on this figure forever, but I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm just going to show it off there. Just those really nice golds and greens. They do a really good job contrasting one another, and they pop beautifully, even all the way down to his golden shoes, which again are done exceptionally well. I do like the detailing in it. Unfortunately, nothing on the undersides of his feet, but that's to be expected because he's just going to be standing on his feet. You're not going to really see them. So that's the Aquaman's articulation, for, or not articulation, but detailing for you. And yeah, Mafex has done a fantastic job with this figure. Beautiful figure, really well done. So let's actually get Aquaman here compared to other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have Aquaman posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have Aquaman posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112th Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Aquaman posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally here we have the Mafex Aquaman posed next to the Mattel Multiverse Justice League Aquaman. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually have a look at Aquaman's articulation. Now, as you would expect, the hair does get in the way of his articulation. He does have a double ball joint, so he can move his head up and down on that ball joint. He can tilt his head side to side. And this is just on the double ball joint. And because it is a double ball joint, he can maneuver his head just a little bit, despite the fact having his hair and his beard in the way. But when you get to a certain point, yeah, it does become an issue. Like, that's about as high as he can look up. A adding the articulation in the neck, he can bury his beard into his chin, but his hair does kind of spring his head back up. Same thing looking back, although it does sit a little more flush. Kind of camouflage is right there, but yeah, he does have really good range in the head. And of course, it is a little bit hindered going side to side. Really interesting on how they did his shoulder pauldrons. They are... We do have a ball joint going into the torso, and it's almost like a butterfly joint, but it's not a fully realized butterfly joint because it's still a hinge inside the torso that's connected to a ball joint, so that does provide forward and back movement, as well as some up and down movement. Now, something I am glad that Mafex did is they connected his shoulder pad to his actual shoulder, so he does go all the way around. Just be careful not to catch the pauldron along the uh, his chest and his shoulder blades are back here because you might end up breaking that off although they are on a hinge you still run the risk of breaking those off if you're not too careful so do be aware of that and because they are on a hinge they do get out of the way but you only get about that much range going to the side and they do a full 360 so i do like that we do have a bicep swivel, which works pretty well. A little stiff on mine, but it still works. Double bend at the elbow, giving us more than 90 degrees, so I do like that. We do have a swivel and hinge here at the wrist. Uh, it's kind of stiff, and I do worry because this is an older Mafex figure. They haven't worked out the plastics all too well, but it does move forward and back, in and out, depending on how you have that joint. He does have a ball joint here at the torso, which does grant him more for more backwards mobility than it does forward mobility, but it gets the job done. Going to the side, absolutely no problem, because I believe that's a double ball joint right up there. We do have a secondary ball joint right here at the waist, so he can lean back quite far. Aquaman is really, really great at limbo. Going forward, could be better, but it's still better than the Mattel version. Leaning to the side, we get some really good range, so I do like that. We do have a ball hinge here at the hip, so he does drop down, and he can kick forward, although it does go out to the side, just because the crotch piece is, it is softer than his torso, but it's still a really dense plastic, so it doesn't have too much give to it. And because of that, you're mainly going to have him kick about that high. If you do have him going out, it does jet off to the side, so do be aware of that. Going out to the side could be better. It's not the best we've ever seen, but it's something. We do have thigh swivel, which works pretty good. Double bend at the knee going up quite a bit. I do like the range in that. Do be careful when working his knees. You might end up getting the top of his knee right here caught on his thigh. As you can see right there, it's actually caught, so 
as you move it, just remember to push in a little bit just to make sure it does go back in. We do have rotation here at the foot as well as a hinge which goes back to about there, goes forward to about there. We have forward facing pin for rocker ankle and then we have a toe hinge which does work nicely. It's not loose at all so I do appreciate that it does function. So overall the Aquaman or Aqua Christ as some people have dubbed him are, is done exceptionally well and I do like the way he came out. So with that out of the way guys let's actually get him posed for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have the Medicom Mafex Justice League Aquaman pose for my final thoughts and overall this is a very well executed figure from Mafex. There's a lot of things to enjoy about this figure and the articulation is just very good. It could be better in some places such as an actual butterfly joint just so he can bring his arm forward a little bit more and maybe a softer material for his hair just to give his head a little bit more range of movement movement the forward mobility on his lower ab crunch could also be a little bit better but overall what you can do with this figure is just simply phenomenal mafex knocked it out of the park with this aquaman release and i'm really happy to have him in my collection so if you are looking for the medicom mafex justice league aquaman you're in luck because he's actually getting a re-release this year and i do believe he's coming out either uh, late March, early April, Medicom already did have solicitations and pre-orders for his re-release, so there is a second chance to get him. If you get him from an overseas website, he will cost you about $70, which is pretty good. If you do get him domestically, he'll run you about 100 but that's pretty much what you're going to be paying even if you get them shipped here internationally. With shipping being about $20, you're either going to spend $90 or $100 on this figure. But either way, if you don't have this figure in your collection, I really do recommend you do so. If you're a fan of Aquaman, I know that the Aquaman suit from the standalone movie is more comic accurate. But there's just something about the Justice League suit that I really do like. I don't know if it's the colors, the texturing, the detailing in it. There's just something about it that I'm drawn to and I need to have it in my collection and Mafex has done a fantastic job with it. I do like the fact that the Trident does fit in his hand really nicely and you don't have to worry about it falling out. However, you do have to worry about breaking the Trident. If you are a little too forceful getting the hand into or the Trident into the hand, you might accidentally break it. So do use caution when taking it in and out of his hands. But other than that, really blown away by this figure and I do recommend them for any Aquaman or DC fan out there. With that being said guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other DC Multiverse and DC Medicom Mafex videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.